Welcome to a tutorial of the Viral Image Wizard. This is the first video of a series of video tutorials and in this video I'm going to be showing you the general user interface of the software. I'm going to be talking you through the Image Modifier tab and showing you a few more areas as well. Now before we actually start off on the software guys, let me take you over to the application folder, the actual folder where you find the um, viral image wizard um, software um, inside of this folder you'll find another folder called templates now inside of this templates folder depending on your license version um, you will find a number of other um, folders which actually hold um, your graphics that come with the software as well you can add to this as well it makes your life easier uh, so when you are actually producing and working with the viral image wizard and looking to make them images then you can actually pull them up from here so you can have something like your backgrounds folder your arrows folder uh, you might have your single image um, template folders in here as well with your double image folders as well um, now what we're going to be doing though is having a look at the actual software um, and having a look at the general user interface when you open up the software it's going to open up on the home page this is the home page here it's the home tab um, and at the moment we don't have any we don't have any uh, video tutorials or anything on here but by the time you have the software and it's been released this should be jam-packed with the video tutorials and a link to the user guide as well Okay, so to navigate around the software, it's very simple, very easy. You've got tabs towards the top. Click on any script tab that you want to work with. So, for example, the animation tab here, uh, the animation from video here as well. Again, depending on your software license, whether you have the silver, gold or platinum, uh, will really depend on what kind of features you can work uh, with the software as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work with the image modifier tab here. And the image modifier tab, guys, um, it works by, by allowing you to import a folder. It doesn't work with single images. So if you want to work with only one image, um, then just make sure the folder that you're importing um, has only the one image inside of there. So in here, we've got a folder that I've already imported. Um, it's called test and car so here it is here test and cars and as you can see I've got 10 images in here in total um, and what we can do on the image modifier tab is do a number of actions um, the very and all you need to do to perform these actions is import the folder and then check whatever checkbox you want to be working with and then click on convert and we'll talk through a few of these now so we can actually resize um, our images as well now again no software out there not even Photoshop it um, makes it or it's possible to actually get a precision um, image resize, um, and that's because of various um, various aspects that take that are calculated when you're actually resizing the soft when you're actually resizing images, um, and especially when you're importing a folder with so many images that are different sizes, then it's very difficult to actually get a perfect resize. But the software does try its best to get you that most accurate and precise resize that it can. Um, okay, you can compress your images in here, you can add borders to images in here, you can convert images from say for example JPG to a PNG, uh, you can rename images as well, um, and this actually works with spin syntax as well. We'll actually look at some of these together, we can actually work with one of the scripts or two of the scripts or even three of the scripts together, um, so what we'll do, we'll actually um, add a border to these images here, we'll add a red border, um, 10 pixels, you can adjust these pixels here, you can change the color from here as well, we'll keep it on as red, we'll actually rename the images as well, as you can see the images here, uh, they don't actually have any names on here, um, and this is actually a very good idea to rename images, especially for users that are looking to rank their images in the search engines for certain keywords, uh, then the software actually works with spin syntax as well, and what we'll do, we'll actually, uh, we'll actually enter supercars here, um, and you can actually see how it works if I only enter just the one keyword uh, and it actually re it actually rename it as supercars one two three and four whatever and again with your spin syntax in there you can have a number of variations so we'll actually click on convert you've got an you've got a status monitor towards the bottom there that's been done very fast uh, and oops i should have mentioned as well what the software does it leaves your original image intact it doesn't make any changes to your original image um, but the folder that you actually choose so this folder here uh, which is this folder here the software will actually go inside of that folder make another folder named after the script that you're working with so in this example we're working with the image modifier so the software has made another folder called modified images I'm gonna go oops wrong one I'm gonna go inside of this folder and as you can see we've got the red border in there and if we have a look at the names of these images as well we've got supercars zero one two three four so there you go it works real cool um, I'm gonna delete this folder now <clears throat> and what we'll do here 
is uh, we'll actually have a look at some of these other ones. Towards the bottom, you've got a few effects. You've got create oil paintings. You can apply more edges, create vignettes. We'll have a look at the create vignettes. Say, for example, what the create vignettes does, it actually makes, well, I'll actually perform uh, the task here. We'll keep it as red. Um, oh, sorry, let's go into white. We'll keep it as red there. And we'll click on convert. And as you can see, a new folder has been created. And as you can see, what the software's done here, it's created a nice um, vignette sort of effect um, and obviously you can change the color of this however you like um, and obviously use this to your liking um, and you've got a number of effects here as well in regards to the colorize effects you can actually choose from three predefined colorize effects here just select whatever colorize effect you want there as well alternatively you can have your or you can define your own colors here from red green and blue and click on the convert so this is very simple very straightforward to use guys um, two things to keep in mind um, you're working with image folders here and you can work with multiple scripts at the same time um, and depending on what you're going to be working with on what the effect you're going to get from the actual script thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video